Absolutely. I'm happy to do that. Absolutely. Now, now I'd like to uh, now introduce my great friend uh, Fatima Whitbread. We all know who Fatima is. She's yeah. one of the greatest uh, sports people in history. And but for me, the respect I have for her is that uh, she's taken on this uh, this challenge uh, of uh, fighting for the right of children in mm. care. Um, and she and I. Uh, she knows my personal story as well as I know her story and I want to make a movie about her life as well So I've already discussed that with her oh. about this to raise these uh, these issues mm. um, So Fatima tell me uh, obviously um, uh, Environmental issues uh, concern all of us, but it's not your specific area What do you think that the world can learn from a film like this? Well, well first I'd like to say thank you for allowing me to share your platform and uh, I'm honored to be here today and congratulations, it's a, a marvellous film. And I think it should be shared with all schools. Yep. Uh, you know, the younger generation need to be educated about taking care of our world. And that's a good starting point. And I think that we need to remember that. Personally, myself, I'm, I've always been somebody who embraces and loves, you know, uh, the rejuvenation of and uh, um, civilization. You know, I'm, I'm a naturist. I'm a power of nature anyway, um, <laughs> but I do enjoy and I, you know films of this kind because it just brings it home to us how we're destroying our, our world. Mm -hmm. um, there are 50,000 indigenous families that are living still across the world. And one of the areas that I was looking into doing a documentary was to, to uh, have uh, go and live alongside them uh, in, and learn what it is. Cause there are still lots of good things that indigenous people that we could still live by today. Um, and although as you've showed the two comparisons, you know, with modern uh, modernization, with you know medicine, and they're the the, the good things that that are coming out of you know the civilization of the modern world. But there are some very good things that the old uh, traditional world has, you know, that we could still embrace. You know and, and, and lifestyle and the way we look after our, our world so I mean I'm, I'm delighted to be here you know obviously with you sharing this I've, I, I guess you all enjoyed it as well mm -hmm. oh yes. yeah I mean it's very educational you know and I think it's hit the brief yeah. you know and personally um, I will certainly when uh, I'd like to share this at my summit next year which we have in uh, Guild Hall on April the 23rd and 4th which is the reju of April next year of the rejuvenation uh, of the care system sector, and this would be a wonderful addition to be able to share that as one of our uh, breakout groups. Oh, that'd be great. Mm. That'd be great. Mm. Now I want to 